Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Merkel. It's great to be with you today. I'm a doctor of chiropractic, board certified in clinical nutrition. I've been taking care of people with very serious health problems, uh, metabolic problems for over 35 years. And we have doctors that sometimes need a little help with patients. And here's one of our doctors sent me a ticket, which is kind of like an email, but HIPAA compliant, asking for some uh, help or support on this patient. Patient is 33 years old and has, as you can see here from the notes, Sjogren's, lupus, shrinking lung syndrome. Boy, that sounds bad, doesn't it? Chronic fatigue, Raynaud's, anemia, GERD, active scleroderma, on a ton of meds. She's on 12 medications. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. 12 medications at 33 years of age. That's insane. That's terrible for the medical doctors to put her on that many meds. And uh, she's on medical leave from teaching and is in pretty bad shape. Spent a good portion of 2018 in the hospital. Is getting IV therapy and done a lot of testing. She's nauseated, sick to her stomach, having difficulty eating. She read about our autoimmune diet, diet protocol and started feeling better after just 10 days. Then a rheumatologist shot her down and told her to stop. Yeah, you wouldn't want the patient to feel better, would you? Just because the crap you've got her on isn't helping, well, how terrible is she feeling better without being on your crap? Isn't that insane? And so, anyway, you can read the other thing she's got there. And um, she's getting blood drawn for, from her autoimmune doctors and all these things. And now she's been on our program. Let's go right to the labs. And the, uh, the doctor's wondering, when should she retest? And um, she's fairly to this world of nutrition and just wonders what I would do. Well, the testing was on 7-Eleven, and today is 7-25, or July 25th, 2019. The testing was done on July 11th, 2019. And you see a little um, uh, guide across the top, the legend, where blue is critical, red is high risk, and yellow is warning. And so you can see a lot of red and some blues there. The most significant blues, and you can you can look at these, but her albumin is low, her creatinine is low, etc., and her LDH is high. Now we're not that is a that's an important finding, but we're going to go right to what I think are the most significant ones. Uh, her sed rate is 79. Wow, that's incredible. Uh, 79 is extreme inflammation. Clinically, it should be less than 20, as you can see here. I want it to be less than eight. And she's got anemia. And moving on down, she's got some other things going with her CBC. Her CRP is also a screaming high at 48. And the range is 8. It's supposed to be less than 8. Now we want it to be less than 4. And hers is at 48. Now these, just two, these two values, the SED rate and CRP, tells us that she's in a lot of pain. Has a lot of problems, a lot of discomfort, etc. And, and it really is a good guide that this girl... This lady is in major serious pain. Not only that, it also illustrates that the drugs are not working. Wow, not working. So it's been two weeks now. I would retest some of the things, not everything. I test the SED rate, the ESR, SED rate we talked about, the CBC, the CRP, the vitamin D, the CEA, coronary embryonic antigen, is a, can be a cancer marker. And then the CA2729, because we should see improvement within two weeks. The natural way doesn't take forever to, to see progress. In fact, of what we're doing is working from a nutritional health restoration standpoint. You should see improvement within two weeks, at least two months. Results that are illustrated and very evident on a blood test. So no matter what problems you have, there's things in a blood test that we can do to help Patients improve, doctors. If you're a patient out there with problems like this, we'd be happy to help you. Contact Science Based Nutrition. Maybe we can find a, a doctor in your area. But yes, this patient has serious problems, and I believe within just a few weeks, she's going to feel significantly better and need far fewer drugs. And hopefully, in time, she won't need any drugs. Hopefully, this has been of help. I'm Dr. Van Merkel with Science Based Nutrition, and you have a great day.